What is up, obscure mic people? This might be a little unfair. I'm using the Oma World condenser microphone, which sounds pretty darn sweet. But I found this for 79 bucks on eBay. The Tackstar S360 condenser microphone. And I was very curious about it because it seems to take some cues from this microphone. Let me show you what I mean. Unboxing the Techstar, the Techstar, the Techstar. You know my first Techstar video, I was real proud of myself because I made the thumbnail like the microphone, a star, and surrounded by a bunch of thumbtacks. I thought it was real clever. Turns out it's a really stupid looking thumbnail. Techstar S360 professional recording microphone. Let's -a go. They did not cheap out on some of the product here. We've got a slab of foam protecting everything with a cardboard logo on top. We've got, yes, this is why I wanted to compare it to the OMA because we have plates. Plates, I say. Plates that won't come apart because they're magnetic. There we go. Plates. Let's set those aside. We've got a microphone mount actually like it looks cheap but it doesn't feel cheap this is this feels pretty good this is pretty heavy it's got a 5 8 to 3 8 adapter um this is probably i've seen ones like this before and they're typically super cheap this one feels pretty solid quality honestly better than what came with the oma world condenser if i must say so we've got a plastic spatula um I, this is probably for removing the plates i didn't need it when i first tested it and the microphone boom that is pretty cool looking got some opening slots here that's what she said and a little red ring at the bottom kind of fancy a mute button on an xlr that is exciting as well and like i said you can change the plates that is pretty cool So we got this slotted look that matches the sides of the grill. Tag star, tag star. I like that, man. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty snazzy. Now that being said, I will say I really like the fabric covered grill. I just think it gives it a really modern, interesting look. Now these are pretty cool too. But that's very plasticky, and I like that the mesh kind of covers the plastic. I'm really interested to see how that mute button works. It's got a little click to it, but this thing's pretty rad, and I'm pretty excited to hook it up and see what it sounds like in comparison to what you're hearing now, which is the Oma World condenser. Also, real quick, before I forget, I mean, you never know what a capsule is going to give you until you get it wired up and good to go, but it is a large diaphragm capsule. It is surrounded... And a nice red bezel it looks pretty nice i'm hoping for the best here 79 bucks link in description let's go and now we're on the tax star this is the tax star s360 this is what it sounds like and i gotta say it's not as good as the oma world condenser nor did i expect it to be but it does have kind of a straightforward hmm i don't want to call it crispy because i don't think it's crispy up top i think it lacks in the low end for sure it's a very mid forward microphone and i gotta say i wish there was some more in the low end it's really lacking there and it makes it sound not super thin but not yeah there's just it makes it off a little bit Kind of disappointing because this thing is a looker for sure. Almost something I'd capsule swap, to be honest. Get a darker capsule in there. Let me get right up on it like this and see if the proximity effect, it kind of helps a little bit. Let's get through the test and I'll throw some compression and EQ on it and see, you know, I'm sure we can make it sound a little fuller in the bottom. Maybe you like the sound. I don't know. I don't love the sound. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Feel like the mesh over top definitely makes a difference for plosives. That's good. And I will say the mount is really nice because it's rubber coated. So it's not going to scratch the stem 
of the microphone up, and that's a pretty good thing as well. The more I talk on it, like I, I don't absolutely hate it or anything. I just think it's just kind of thinnish, mid forward and thinnish. It just needs a little bit of oomph in the bottom, a little bit. Doesn't need a ton, just something to round it out. Now let's go ahead and take the microphone and go 90 degrees off axis. 180 degrees off axis the other 90 degree angle and then back around to the front of the microphone again i'm sure it sounds good enough for sure let's check out the mute button real quick i'm talking into the mic and i'm gonna mute button is now off so the mute button works pretty well it does have a little bit of an audible click for sure let's go ahead and throw a little bit of low end and compression on it see what it sounds like all right, we've got a little bit of low end added and some compression on this thing. And just that little bit of low end does make a pretty good difference. It kind of rounds everything out just a little bit. And it's just a slight bump in the low end. I'll tell you exactly what it is on my AG06 Mark II from Yamaha. Let's see, I've got about a 5 dB boost right around 60 Hertz. Uh, that slowly drops down uh, very gradually into about the 600 hertz before i cut a little v shape out right before 1k and that's what this sounds like i can go ahead and raise that there we go there's a little more oomph in the bottom i added about three decibels to the low end at about 20 hertz and now rolling more gradual into that 900 hertz territory and this is what that sounds like i'm going to go ahead and Take that back down just a notch there to about 5 dB. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, so that's where I've got it now. Compression, EQ, a little bit of oomph in the low end. This is what it sounds like. So it can be made to sound a little more oomphy and more well-rounded. Let me go ahead and turn the compression and EQ off. And now we're back to the sound of the microphone. A little mid forwardy. Not bad. I mean, seriously, it doesn't sound bad. The noise is there, but it is minimal. I know it's got, I think 20 dB is the noise floor on this thing. So not ultra low, nothing like that. But for 79 bucks, you could do a lot worse. I think this comes down to, do you want a mute button? Do you want a mute button on your microphone? Do you like the removable plates and such? Is that a thing? Do you like the form factor, which is kind of like a fudge bar or an ice cream bar or just one of those SpongeBob pops, something like that. Or a little paddle for nighttime fun. Anyways, uh, on the BBSAR, I'll put the link in the description to grab this thing. I don't, again, I don't, I don't, this, this is a tough one because it is clear and concise. I just, just a little bump in the low end would be good. I'm going to give it on the BBSAR a score of a six. It's slightly above average. I think it's worth a buy because it's super easy to just add a couple db of low end in there and round this thing out nicely i've got a fairly not a super deep voice but a fairly deep voice and this just kind of like i'm surprised that it's still kind of thinnish like this but really that's the only big drawback for me the rest of it sounds pretty good i just want that little bit in the low end which i can get on my ag06 mark ii really easily and uh, the mute button is actually it's almost let me specify for the hundredth time across this channel's history, inline mute switches cost as much as this microphone. So for that alone, I think it's worth a buy. I think it just depends on whether you have some EQ. If you're going live, you need some EQ up front. So does your audio interface, does your mixer, does that have EQ or is everything going to have to be post to fix this? That's that's a thing. That's something. But you got OBS. You can adjust EQ in there on the go. So I do think it's worth a buy. I just, I wish I had a little more oomph in the low end. But it's a super cool form factor. The plates are awesome. The mute switch is like a breath of fresh air. I'd love to see mute switches in more of these. By the way, it is lit up. Red and blue on the mute switch. So I think that's really cool. So we're getting a little bit of power from the Phantom to give us that little tiny light there too. LEDs, bruh, makes everything better. Jack that shit up to a 10. Get the hell out of the... F*** you, thumb. I just turned it off last night. I turned the thumb off. I swear I did. Where are you at, you bastard 
thumb control. Clay, you helped me once, help me again. <laughs> Friggin' thumb. Anyways, I was on a tangent and it was a good one. It was going to end with me storming out of the studio, but the thumb killed it. The thumb killed it. Sometimes just putting a thumb in there hurts just a little bit. Obscure <laughs> mics. I'm out of here. The tax star, it's, it's solid. Uh, if you got a little bit of EQ, it could definitely be a pretty dang cool mic, especially if you don't have an inline mute or a mute on your mixer or interface. This may be for you. Link in the description. Obscure mics. Mark, out of here. See you later. Bye. Peace out.